What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today, we are located in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Today, we have myself, we have my best buddy Brandon, and we have my brother Ryan, and we are uh, gonna be doing some pan fishing today, and we're gonna be doing a little catch and cook action today. Before I go any further, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Scott Mackner. He has a YouTube channel called 330 Maniac. You guys should go check him out, hit that subscribe button, because he is actually the one that put us on the lake we are fishing today. We are not from around here, and uh, without him, we wouldn't have any fish to catch. And to start out this video, I actually think we are gonna be doing some hole hopping. I think Ryan is gonna stay in the shack, but me and Brandon are gonna go out, uh, drill some holes, and just kinda tr try to find some fish. We heard there are some pretty good bluegills and some pretty good crappies, so yeah. Cross your fingers. Hopefully, we can get into some big ones. Without further ado, guys, we're gonna put on the old Norfin boots and bibs and uh, strap on some chesties. I'm gonna leave this inside because it is pretty cold out. And yeah, let's go hole hopping. Hopefully, find some fish. Oh my god, I had him. No way. No way. Come back. Come back. Oh yeah, he's coming. Got him. Oh, what? This might be decent. First fish of the day, anyhow. This might be good, dudes. Oh my god, it is. It's a decent bluegill. Decent bluegill. A little bump on its forehead. Oh, wow. Oh my god, he up hit me really hard. This might be a crappie. Come back. Yeah, he's coming back. Got him. I think this is a crappie. It's pretty good too. I'm gonna turn my drag up just a little bit. This is a good fish. Oh man. This has to be a good crappie. This is good. This is good. Come on. Oh, he's stuck in my deucer. <gasps> crappie. Crappie. We got a crappie. What's up? Uh, a little bit. I got two oh, down there. I see you in those YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait. Hey, I saw you. <laughs> I, hey, I saw it. Hold on, I saw you on YouTube. What's up, man? I see you. I saw him too on YouTube. My buddy was sending it to me. Well, oh, good to meet you, man. I saw you on YouTube. On the way here. <laughs> That's sick. On the way here. On the way here. Damn, I can't believe I'm meeting right into you guys. Huh? I got, I got take a picture of you guys. You want to get a picture, Greg? Yeah, let's have a picture, man. All right, man. <laughs> I follow you on YouTube too. That's sick, man. I show you here right now. Thanks my, for watching, dude. My friend, man, you guys are awesome, man. All right, well, that was really cool, guys. Ran into some viewers. Uh, ended up changing holes. Uh, the fish definitely just scattered out of that hole, but it looks like I have a big school right here. And then we're gonna punch some more holes over here. Hopefully, get a bunch of fishies. I'm cold. I'm gonna turn my graph a little bit. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Good and good and yeah. Nice crappie. Another nice crappie. Oh, this is a good mark. Got him. Looked like a big mark. I think it's a big bluegill. Yeah. Oh, full of fleas, though. All full of fleas. Man, though. That's a big one. Look at those fins. Unreal. This is fun. I'm crushing them over here. Where's Brandon? We're just putting on a clinic. Just putting on a clinic. Yeah, this is these. This is pretty good. This is big. Yeah, that's big. boys. I lost my sinker on my bait, so I have to, uh, I'm going to bring a load of these bluegills into the house just so that they don't get too frozen. 
and then I'm gonna come back out. Welcome back guys, as you can see, I am back in the fish house. I came back to get a split shot, as you guys know, and apparently Ryan's just in here pounding them, and my screen is loaded, so I'm gonna sit in here for a little bit, try to get some more fish, and then we're gonna get a, we're gonna get the catch and cook fired up soon here. We definitely got plenty of fish already, so. Is that huge? I don't think it's small. This is not small either. We have each other right now? No, it's small. It's small? I don't think mine is. No, mine's definitely not small. No, it's not. We're just crushing them today. Just crushing them. That's a good one. That's a big bluegill. That's nice. Oh, this one's better, I think. This one's freaking. Brandon's got a nice one. They're all awesome fish. But we know that there's big ones. Biggins. 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 Big, big, big. Brandon, they're missing them. They get steady action, dudes. One after another. As fast as you can get down there. This one's good. This one's good. Looks nice. Feels really nice. Oh, it's kind of wrapped in my deucer, though. Oh, crappie! Crappie, that's why! We got a crappie! We got a crappie! Maybe. That is sick! There could be more down there, yeah. guys. The camera was off, guys, but we just hooked into another nice crappie. A 12-incher, and we're going to be keeping this thing. And what do you got, another bluegill? Uh, and a little update, it is 5 o'clock. We kind of shut the cameras off just so we can listen to some music while we're catching some of these, just because we're catching so many. As you guys can see, we are kind of no longer fishing. Well, we're actually fishing, but we just got rattle reels down. We're not really looking at our graphs anymore, but it is time to eat some supper. Ryan is going to be cleaning up these bluegills and crappies. And I think I'm going to be cooking them. So yeah, I think we're going to have a little time lapse of Ryan chopping up these fish. And then we'll get to cooking them. All right, really quick. Marie wants me to show you guys how we kind of clean bluegills, how I clean bluegills. We always just come in the side here. Flip your knife. Go down the backbone. Once you get past the rib cage, you can go through and out. Come back in and go up and over the rib cage. A lot of people will stop and actually just cut the piece off from here and leave whatever meat is on the rib cage there. There's actually quite a bit. So, once you did that, My knife's starting to get dull. Oops. Take the skin off. A little bit of pin bones right here. A little bit of meat wasted. Nice big, big filet. Perfect. Are you gonna eat fish today? Yeah. No? I don't know. I haven't decided. It depends on how good it looks. The camera was off, but I just I just walked by the rattle reel and it went off. Oh my god! Walter? It's a big old crappie. It's a big crappie. It's a slab crappie. Holy bucket. Should we cook this thing and eat it? <laughs> no, I think that might be a little too big to eat actually. Big old Shiner Minnow 2. We're expecting to hopefully catch a Wally with that, but that's like a, a 13 plus inch crappie. Holy buckets. Alright guys, well Ryan is uh, cleaning off those flakes. I'm going to get some grease rolling in the pan. I'm also going to get a little concoction of seasonings going for the for the batter. Alright guys, for our concoction today, we are going to be using some Shore Lunch Cajun style batter. Let me get that in the baggie real quick. Here's the baggie of bluegills and crappies. I'm just going to pour a pretty good amount of that on. I'm going to put this on first. Alright, we got the Cajun on there. Next, I'm taking just a little bit of this Kraft oven fried chicken extra crispy stuff just to get them even more crispy. It's gonna be good. Let's get her going. Oh yes. 
This is already smelling so good. Oh my god. I love fresh bluegills and crappies. Alright guys, the first batch is officially done. I think I'm just going to run through the rest and uh, we're going to be eating in no time. Look at that guys. The final product is done and it looks and smells delicious as heck. We're going to fix up some plates once that cools down. We're going to start grubbing. I got some tartar sauce here I'm going to be ripping. Brandon's hooked up. I'm eating fish and Brandon is hooked up. Dang, dude. What? Talk me through what just happened. I hooked up hard with a good one. I got her about 15 feet up and then ripped the lip. There she went, eh? Ripped the lip. All right, back to enjoying my crappies. What do you got going on over here? A little crappie sandwich? Oh, you yeah. going crappie sandwich? Yeah. That actually looks really good. I'd like to have like some tomato or lettuce on it though. Okay, it's time to plow. This is, ooh, that's a hot piece. That's a hot piece. Here's a piece that's ready. First batch is ready. Super crispy with that Cajun finish. Hoo hoo hoo, it's pretty spicy. It's got some heat on it. What do you think, Ryan? Scale one to 10. Pretty good. Pretty good? Uh, no, but on a scale of one to ten, how good? Well, I kind of do a little better. Well, Oops. you're older. You have more experience than me. I know. I'll give you a solid eight. Lit. That's good. I like that. I'll take that. I thought uh, I thought too the grease wasn't like as hot as I wanted it. I think I cooked it a little too long. Still so good though. I think we are going to end it on this note, folks. I think this video was a success. We caught some crappies, we caught some bluegills, and some really good crappies and bluegills at that. And we got to flay them here in our permanent big bite fish house. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And I guess all the shit to show you guys. I guess we're fishing more. Bye.